know that you're not going to meet the altogether lovely within the next hour. You don't know that. But wouldn't it be a wonderful thing that if in the next hour that God has called you home, you're able to look at him and say, I've fought a good fight and I've kept the faith and hear him say, oh, my child, come on in. This is your place now. Or, Lord, you know, I was waiting for a more convenient season. And then I was going to give my heart to you. And he will say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. I'd like to serve God, but I'm, I'm too busy right now. I'm too busy to serve God right now. Maybe some other time, I'm really going to get into this thing and I'm going to serve God. Some other time, I'm going to do something marvelous, but not right now. You see, I need to put that off because I know that tomorrow is going to come. And after tomorrow, there'll be another day that'll come. But you have no guarantee of tomorrow for today is the day of salvation. Amen. For Demas, it was the present world. Whatever the reason, it was just stuff that kept people from following Jesus. Ambiguous, nameless, unimportant, non-eternal stuff. 